It's an awkward drop off. That's far enough. Sir? You hear the dog? Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I just wanted to give you guys a quick review of this Seagull Coastline Slim CW. And I have really enjoyed playing this guitar. It's my brother's guitar. He has a cool story about this guitar. Uh, maybe he'll be in later and he'll tell you the story. So I was at his house one day and he had this guitar and he let me play it. And I was blown away by how smooth it is and just how great it feels just playing it. This guitar has quantum electronics. They're great, they sound really good. They've really done a great job with these in this guitar and I love them. This has got Wildwood Cherry back inside which is sort of in between mahogany which is more mellow and then maple which is more bright. And then on the top, of course you got spruce. Uh, I love the flat finish on the neck. If you've seen my other review videos, I'm a huge fan of uh, just that matte finish instead of the gloss finish. My hands get way too, I, I don't wanna say sweaty, but definitely stick to the neck a little bit sometimes. So what I wanna do is talk about the pros and cons for this guitar. The first pro, of course, is the cost. So Seagull guitars, whenever they started, they set out on a mission to seek after what makes great guitars great. And then they wanted to build a guitar with those great features, but at an affordable cost. You get some of those features like, you know, the solid top and just a great playable guitar uh, and great electronics. I mean, lots of great things on this guitar and it's not that expensive and you get some awesome uh, top of the line stuff whenever you buy it. The next thing to mention is just how smooth it plays. It, it just feels great, it sounds great, it looks great. I mean, but there's three pros right there that I just named. Um, and I love playing it. And having a great guitar like this set around my studio for a couple of days, man, has just made me wanna practice all the more. And so there's another pro in that it makes you wanna practice by just simply having a great guitar setting around. The next thing to mention is the playability because this guitar is so smooth and everything on it just feels so great. It's easy just to grab chords. It's easy just to play. I mean, everything just flows together. But there is a world of difference between a professionally made guitar and just one of those cheap ones you buy at Walmart or even like a mid-range guitar to, you know, something higher like this. So another thing about this guitar is uh, the electronics. The electronics in this thing are great. I love the electronics. I love um, plugging it in. Something about the input is so satisfying. I mean, other inputs that I've used before, you know, they kind of move around. This one, as soon as it goes in, you know it's in there and it just stays. I, I mean, there's just something so satisfying about using the input jack on this thing. So let's talk about the cons a little bit for this guitar. The first con is actually the first pro, and that's the cost. Anything above uh, $400, I think, for the majority of people is going to be a little bit of a con because you're going to have to invest some money into it. And although you're getting a ton of value in this guitar, for some people, uh, investing that kind of money into a guitar becomes a burden, it becomes a problem. And so I think that can be a little bit of a con. The second con and the last con is just the upkeep for this guitar. And so with professionally made guitars and higher end guitars, you really have to do a lot more work to maintain the quality of the guitar. I mean, you gotta think about the humidity in your house, 
You got to think about the humidity in the case. You got to clean it more often. There's just a lot of things that you need to do to really take care of the guitar. And for some people, uh, their guitar is just something that they just set on a guitar stand and just let it fly, you know. And for a lot of people, that works. But for higher end guitars, you really got to take care of them. And, and so that's the second con is since this guitar is a higher end, you really need to take care of it. The best uses for this guitar, I think, are practice and recording. Uh, this guitar sounds awesome. Just sending it straight through through the input. Uh, if you only do that way, I mean, it is great. And if you drop uh, a mic like this, and this isn't even a great mic, this is an AKG mic, uh, you drop this in, in front of it and then use the input jack, you can really get some great sounds out of this thing uh, in recording. There is nothing like having a great guitar sit around your studio just to pick up and just look at it for one and then also just play it and hear the great sounds that you can make. You really can hear such a difference between a cheap guitar and a really good guitar, which is why people love Guitar Center because they can go sit around there and play great guitars all day. Thanks so much for tuning in today, guys, and I hope you enjoyed this review video. Check out some of my other videos, subscribe, stick around, uh, hit that little button over there, uh, probably like right there actually. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.